Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Alzheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku. Bringing you a grand solar minimum update Wednesday, April 13th, around 8 p.m. Mountain Time 2022. The models are showing more snow in that blizzard region up in North Dakota. It's not over, folks. It may be a potential end of April boom. For the Eastern Appalachians, take a look at that. The big story is the big weather. April br blizzard blast the Northern Plains. Tornadoes and gigantic hail strike Texas, injuring 23. Keep calm. It's boom time. That is a huge title. And you can see the meridional flow there and the breakdown of the jet stream. That's what's causing it. There is huge amounts of record highs uh, to the east of this frontal boundary and tons of even more record lows behind it. And it's where that severe weather, we're going to talk about it. There's some tornadoes popping up here. Wild weather raged across parts of the nation Tuesday, including a blizzard in the northern plains and tornadoes in Iowa and Texas. A combination of heavy snow and strong wind gusts brought blizzard conditions to portions of Montana, North Dakota on Tuesday, the National Weather Service said. An estimated 47 inches of the global warming goodness fell in Albro Lake, Montana, forcing major, several major road closures. Oh my goodness. The blizzards closed schools, colleges, and some government offices in North Dakota. This is going to be historic for some areas, Jason Angle, lead meteorologist for the National Weather Service Bismarck office said, and he was not incorrect. The snowstorm could reach record levels in some areas. On Monday, possible tornadoes, hail, and high winds stretch across much of Arkansas, causing minor structural damage, and on and on. We have some of the footage uh, coming up here, especially of that hail. Ready for that? Now, here's that near record size hailstone that fell in central Texas. Take a look at that. It's five and a half inches. Absolutely spectacular. And areas of Wenatchee received two feet of snow in two days. Uh, where else did it accumulate? We're going to get to the snowfall analysis in just a moment here. But first, we have a photo gallery of the April blizzard. And some happy people with April snow. And ho, ho, ho. Shut up, Al. He's making fun of the little girl. Obviously. Now, Aliska in Alaska has totaled nearly 800 inches of snowfall this year. That is a spectacular total. We reported earlier this season when the resort extended their season thanks to 663 inches as of mid-March, but Alaska is now reporting 792 inches fallen at the summit of their Glacier Bolt Express chairlift. And that, that is a lot of global warming goodness. Now, take a look at some more global warming goodness. Over the last 72 hours, the northwest U.S. and the plains are picking up a foot of snow or more. Two feet in North Dakota there, as we predicted. Three feet in the, for a wide strip of the Cascades and on and on. The snow totals are epic, and the snow can to fall, as well as epic waterfalls flowing on the Minnesota North Shore after record snow, more than 150 inches of snow fell uh, up in the North Shore there. Duluth, 100 plus inches of snow that fell on much of the Arrowhead region this winter are pumping up the North Shore waterfalls, aided by the area's steep, jagged bedrock formed a billion years ago when the continent split. Lava flows and massive glaciers sculpted the landscape. Absolutely fantastic. Good news for tourism. Denver record low temperature set on a frigid morning, a blustery day expected today as well, January day, like, and South Lake Tahoe set cold records as well, with more snow expected on Thursday. There's those record colds in the west, record highs in the east, and that frontal boundary cutting the country into two extremes. And that means extreme weather. Daylight show, shows tornado damage in parts of Iowa, and it wasn't looking good. A day after a strong line of storms brought tornadoes to Iowa Tuesday, damage reports are coming in from several towns. And the worst hit was not in Iowa, unfortunately. 23 injured after a tornado hit Texas. The storm swept across the commercial, across the central U.S. Nearly two dozen people were injured after a tornado struck a Texas county Tuesday evening. A possible tornado was first reported shortly before 5.30 p.m. near the town of Salado. Bell County Judge David Blackburn said he traveled about seven miles and large trees were torn down and buildings destroyed, as you can see in the picture below. Texas tornado. Well, destroyed dumps. Among other things, there's obviously some smashed vehicles.
There, it looks like an entire school or some other structure. So, hearts and prayers go out to those folks. And more to come. It's just the beginning of spring. Widespread hail damage in the River Valley as well. So, and this is in Oklahoma and the River Valley. Look at that baseball size hail. So we've got record ha record approaching hail, and it's just the beginning. Let's take a look at the models, shall we? And we'll just pause it. There is the rest of Wednesday and more snow in North Dakota. There are another 16 potential inches, and then it's going to explode up in the plains in Canada. And there'll be some more snow coming all the way down into the Sierras, which is good news. So the blizzard is not over, and there is more snow on the horizon. Blizzard and severe thunderstorms, critical fire weather continue in the central U.S. A powerful spring storm will continue to bring blizzard conditions into the northern plains into Thursday. Further south, numerous severe thunderstorms are likely today across a large portion of the Mississippi Valley northward into the Midwest and lower Ohio Valley. Severe tornadoes. Potentially, widespread damaging winds and large hail would likely occur. Dry, gusty winds continue in the southern high plains, so there's a major fire risks, uh, major freeze warnings, blizzard, and winter weather. Ugh, we've got it all. A complete smorgasbord of severe weather. So go to weather.gov and click on your county to get the warnings in your area for more info. That's how we do it. Seismic update. No quick note, very quiet across uh, the earth. Interesting quake in the U.S. here, 2.6 in Springerton, Illinois. Very rare area for a quake. Now, the sun's wrath to touch the earth in the form of a geomagnetic storm happening at any moment. Radio signals may take a hit. Well, so is Diamond after the video. But I do digress. Let's take out the take a look at the planetary K index. We've been at KP0 for six hours, and I know you knew that I knew. what well, you know what I just... Well, and it looks like, let's refresh this, uh, on the telemetry here at the Discover Solar Wind Panel, that we have a perturbation happening. The BZ is shifting, the phi angle is shifting, uh, density has a jiggle, a speed, and we've got some temperature fluctuations. So this could be the beginning of that CME coming in uh, from the plasma filament that ripped off the sun that we're expecting to go into geomagnetic storm here. And we do have the three-day geomagnetic forecast can, could get up to KP5. Um, looks like we could get in a low-level G2 geomagnetic storm, according to the forecast, in the next 12 hours. So uh, keep your eye on the telemetry and updates in the morning. Now, about 12, uh, 12 24 hours ago, I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, let's say 24 hours ago. I posted a video about the uptick in seismicity here at the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland. That activity has cooled off, but we're going to keep a close eye on that because this is quite a substantial amount of quakes. In just about 24 hours, we're talking three or 400 quakes up to four magnitude, 3.9 actually. And this is in an area where the volcano hasn't erupted since the 1830s, the Reykjanes volcano. So we're keeping a close eye on that for you as well. And all is quiet on the volcano front worldwide. Bad news on the geopolitical front. Supplier prices rose 11.2% from a year ago in March. The biggest gain on record. And that is bad news for your pocketbook. The producer price index, which measures prices paid by wholesalers, rose 1.4% in March and 11.2% from a year ago. Both records from data going back to 2010. And that means it's going to cost more and more and more and more. But Good news, new dates push back occupation of northwestern Australia in the outback. And it pushes it all the way out back to 50,000 years ago. Put another shrimp on the barbie for that one. In Pilba, Australia. So, links will be below with the article. Now, Hubble confirms the largest comet nucleus ever seen. And we already knew this, but uh, it, we knew it was a substantial comet. We reported on it, I don't remember, a year or two ago. Uh, on this particular comet, and this is Bernadelli Bernstein, comet C-2014, UN-271. It has a very, well, the, it has a very, quite circular orbit, and it moves around that, the outskirts of our solar system, somewhere between Neptune and Saturn. At no point will it ever get near Earth. But the most spectacular thing is that they've done some modeling here and calculated the nucleus. Now, the nucleus is different than the coma, in that the nucleus is the actual rock inside the center here. And they're estimating that this nucleus or rock is 
huge. It's 80 miles wide. Uh, this is a type of structure. This is the type of object to be very easy to land on and to do some study. So I hope well, we plan that in the future. An 85 mile wide comet just cruising around our solar system. Bernadelli Bernstein. There could even be aliens on that. What say you? And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We love each and every one of you. Please be a hero. Share this video. Become a subscriber. And be safe. We love you. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons. You're all heroes in my eyes. Mm -hmm.